the pseudo Salafi Wahhabi Khabith uh, Ati once again uh, during the month of Rabiul Awal, where <coughs> majority of them, tens of millions, if not hundreds of millions, uh, celebrate, commemorate the best thing that happened to <coughs> the universe, the man, mankind, but not just for mankind, but for all. But these people, they want to uh, stop people commemorating um, in the name of Islam, but it's anything but to do with Islam. But speaking, but putting that aside, here we can see Saudi Arabia curriculum books, the vermin of Twitter. He's, or whoever's behind that account is saying about rewarding the Saudi security forces, arrested apparently Sufi, Sufi innovators for chanting statements of shirk. Um, do these same security forces arrest, arrest those who allow concerts and alcohol and clubbing and singing and all these other Halloween things and Christmas and all these other things? And then he also, this individual says, oh, um, these Sufis are concerned upon that Ummah, wherever they go, they go utter shirk and kufr statements, which nullifies all good deeds. And the person will not be forgiven for the crime of shirk and will be thrown into the hell, into the hellfire eternally. First, it is this imbecile Khabith idiot know that whilst you are alive, you can be forgiven even for shirk and other and anything besides that. You can ask for forgiveness. You can repent. You can um, go from one 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 extreme to becoming pious. So why is this idiot just saying that um, they will never be forgiven um, and thrown into the hellfire? Does this who gave this individual the knowledge of where these people will end, will end up? We know certain actions will lead you to do this, but does he know these people if they did say statements of shirk or kufr? That does he know these people will definitely end up in the hellfire eternally? Does he know the end? Does he know how they might? change and whatever else and also you would need to know what, what these statements i don't know what these statements are and of course they, these people um they don't um speak about the leaders and the stuff going over there uh, about people commemorating the birth um of the one who gave you the religion uh they want to speak about that they want to balk then but when it's um the halloween things and the clubs and the music and the concerts and all of these things and alcohol they don't want to speak is this is this so you want to stop people doing the remembrance of the prophet only the devil would do something like that the devil would it seems that these people are devilish because the devil would stop people remembering the prophet but he'd want to encourage people to go to concerts and allow alcohol and halloween and all the other things um so may the ummah be freed from the khabith vermin sect that they claim to be from the Sunnah when they are not maybe if saudi arabia and the world be free from these um and we know that these radical groups like ISIS and others, they are similar to these groups and they read the texts of these scholars, or so-called scholars. Um, may sooner rather than later, may this group be um, a memory and may true Sunni Islam be spread into the Hejaz. <laughs>